Hey you guys, I am back with a book review and this book is called Trust Me Heart of Crystal and the author's name, okay, I'm trying not to mess it up so bear with me. It's Obelia Akanki, I want to say. If not, I'm sorry. Um, So the main character's name is Crystal and from the beginning, she's, it's very obvious that her love interest is this guy named Mario. So Mario is who Crystal is like really into and it's kind of cute because they go to like this poetry group together and it's just like you can tell that she's kind of trying to be subtle with the way that she likes him like she's not trying to be all up in his face. There is this girl though that is a part of the group and her name is Jessica that goes to like their little like poetry readings and their workshops and stuff together and crystal gets frustrated because sometimes jessica is all up in mario's face and even though that's not like her boyfriend or anything she still kind of feels like she done um, placed her little claim on him and whatnot so she doesn't really like seeing the other girl in her face now crystal has some friends and one of crystal's friends is tina and it's like i love crystal's friends because they're so they're honestly so diverse. I like that her friends aren't yes men. When she's kind of doing something that's a little off or a little crazy, her friends tell her, like, listen, you need to get over yourself. Get out of the bed. Stop moping around. You need to get it together. And the problem, with, well, it's not necessarily a problem, but what I appreciated about the book was it was showing that Crystal had been, like, in an abusive relationship before the book even started. Um, she had went through that with, like, her ex-boyfriend. And there were some flashbacks that were going on throughout the book where when one person would say, like, a certain set of words or if they would do something, it would trigger a flashback memory of when she was going through stuff with her ex-boyfriend. And I felt like that was really important to even have in the book because I don't, I don't know. I was having a conversation about domestic violence yesterday with someone and well, there was a group of us that was having the conversation and we were discussing how traumatic it is and how the after effects that like abusive relationships have on people even after a relationship is over. So I appreciated reading that in the book and it's showing very clearly like although she's been broken up with her boyfriend, I'm not going to lie, I don't remember the boyfriend's name and the boyfriend's even been in jail for some months. Like even though she's been broken up from the boyfriend, she still isn't like forgetting what happened like it still comes up when stuff happens for her so one of her friends is like a huge dancer and not like a dancer like a stripper but like they're okay so let me start over so they're all in college right so there's like a dance show that's going on it's like a competition and the one friend really wants crystal and the other friend to participate and at first they're trying but then they realize like girl, we can't keep up with you and we probably wouldn't be the best fit to help you with this if you really want to win this competition. I felt like this book, it definitely was urban fiction. But for the simple fact of like how like kind of smooth sailing it was, like and how it was, it didn't have like sex scenes that were all over the place. I felt like it could have been like a young adult book too, like someone that's like 18 and up. Like I could honestly say I would recommend this book to them too because it had like a lot of good, conversation starters on it then okay so the plot twist of the book came about to me when I noticed that Mario went out of town so Mario's explanation to Crystal was very bland it was very um I'm going out of town to go handle family business and you know what that's really all he had to say to her because although they like had a conversation or two it's not like they're technically dating and oh my god I don't know his, his his answer on where he was going he was like I'm going to go handle family business I'm gonna be gone for two weeks his answer was kind of vague and it's like me I'm kind of nosy a little bit so if I'm interested in someone I'm gonna be like is everything okay and Crystal didn't say any of that and what was bothering me was like uh like the trauma that she experienced has caused her to still be so indecisive like even when she wants to ask something She's like, oh, I'm not going to ask. Oh, I'm not going to say anything. Oh, I'm not going to speak up. If Chris, uh, if Jessica's talking to Mario and she wants to say something to him, she's like, oh, never mind. I'll just see him next time. And, like, it just irked my soul at first. Like, girl, if you don't cough and speak up, like, say what you have to say. Stop doing this. But when a Mario's friend gets in her ear and starts stirring the pot, GQ starts stirring the pot, 
and starts to try and tell her that Mario is definitely off handling family business, but he has something else too. So, you guys, check out this book. I really did like it. It was a cute story. It did take me a second to read it because I had so much going on. So I appreciate the author being understanding. This book is on Kindle Unlimited, so you guys can definitely read the book there if you um, were to check it out. I'm going to leave all the information that I can find for the author down below so you guys can check out their catalog. And for now, you guys, I am out.